All right, guys, Kelly here. And in this video, we're going to kind of lay a foundation for your YouTube channel. I'm going to call it your Geographical Farm YouTube channel, uh, why it's important. And then I'm going to show you a couple really cool tips on how to craft, create, and then dissemble your content for your channel, right? It's not as hard as you think. Now, why YouTube? There are many different ways as a real estate agent, you guys can generate leads. You can cold call, you like that one. You can door knock, you can go to open houses, create open houses, you can go to builders and ask to sit in their models as a real estate agent. You can run Facebook ads, Google ads, buy Zillow leads, realtor.com leads, work your referrals, go to church and wear a big, I'm a real estate agent, you, you, you with me, right? There's a lot of different things, direct mail, um, uh, and so forth and so on. And one of the things that we are seeing that is strategically and critically one of the tightest marketing strategies is creating educational content for your YouTube channels, right? Uh, I've got a beta channel in the area that I'm in, and this channel has grown uh, in just a couple of months to almost 700 subscribers. Uh, I'm already several million dollars worth of deals on this channel. I've got several buyers under contract on this channel, multiple listings just because of this channel. And I have found that the two top marketing strategies that we are employing on our team, and listen, I've got over 60 plus agents on my team, is direct mail targeted to the right people with the specific message, educational based, and the YouTube channel. So, if you haven't already, hit subscribe and the bell. Here's why. I am going to be dropping content every week on what you should be doing with your YouTube channels. If you comment below on the video, if something pops up and you want more information, I might just send you a link to get on my Zoom and do a personal with you. Well, I'm not going to promise that because I have so many agents wanting to Zoom with me. I will tell you this. I, I want to see you guys succeed with it. Um, YouTube, if you do it correctly, guys, will literally make you the go-to agent. And even though a lot of agents are getting into it, a lot of agents aren't. And the ones that are, aren't doing it correctly. And so we've got to make sure that we've got the fundamentals in play. So what I want to do today is kind of walk you through a really cool kind of a, a I'm going to open up the curtains and bring you backstage and show you some strategies that you could be using to develop content, source the content, and really to, to be able to look at what other people are doing to gain valuable insights and ideas. Um, so as you guys are creating your YouTube channel, please remember, it's not primarily a way for you to um, try and, 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 and beg people to use you as an agent. It's, it's information. Hey, if you're thinking of moving to Hoopy Doopyville, check out these five top subdivisions. Hey, if you're thinking of moving into uh, Granite Bay, check out these top three school districts, right? So it's all about you giving information because listen, we all know this. People are searching for your area right now. They're looking for information on where you as a realtor live because they're making a decision in the next one to 12 months to move there. Whether they're going to rent or buy, they are making that decision. And based on your content, they're going to start following you. And guys, one thing about YouTube is it 100Xs your ability to get your message out. One thing that Levi Lasik, who I follow, I love him. I'm, I've got him linked to this channel. So if you want, just go look below on channels that I follow and, and go check him out. Uh, you know, Levi likes to say this, you can cold call for seven hours a day or five hours a day. Um, but when you have content and it's being watched 24, like you can't cold call at three in the morning, but your content's being watched at three in the morning. There might be somebody in Brazil right now looking at your content at three o'clock in your morning time, and they are researching before they make that move. And right now, my beta channel, which again is about six months old, um, 700 subscribers, multiple millions of dollars of deals so far done. Um, I've had um, over, I think the last time I checked, the equivalent of seven years of watch time in six months. I can't even, I'd have to hire 30 agents full-time calling to equal the amount of time my channel has generated in views. I just, there's nothing else I have that can give me that type of reach. 
Uh, I hope that makes sense. You're um, as you get thousands of hours a month in watch time. I mean, you only have so many hours in a week and so many hours in a month. And your channel now is literally it's like it's it's cloning you by the hundreds every month um, and and getting your content out there. But let me share my screen. I'm going to show you a really cool trick. Now, not there's hardly anybody talking about what I'm about to show you. You know, a couple months ago, uh, six months ago or more, the big thing in the world was Chad GPT. Now, I have the pro version. I pay 20 bucks a month for it. I love it. I use it for a lot of things. But Google has a brand new one. Out. I say brand new. It's a couple months old, but nobody's talking about it. And it's called Bard, B-A-R-D. Just go to Google, search the word Bard AI. Uh, it's a free sign up. And the difference between Bard and chat is Bard literally is synced up to the um, to the World Wide Web. So it's able to search for whatever you ask it to in real time. And the data is literally current as of that hour, right? Where chat GPT uh, is limited to any internet searches from 2021 and, and older, right? So if you're looking for something specific that happened in 2022 at the end, uh, chat's not going to be able to reference that. But chat is great for coming up with concepts, ideas, uh, theories, uh, coming up with scripts, email camp. I mean, just goes on and on. But Bard is what you should be using. So let me share my screen and show you an example. So let's say you are you live in Granite Bay. I live in a city called Claremont. So I went into Bard and I simply asked Bard, what are the most searched terms on YouTube that people are doing regarding Claremont? Now, as we get into this, please understand the 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 thing with YouTube is you want to put content about what people are searching. A lot of agents fail in this very specific thing. If you fail in this, you fail in the amount of views you're going to get. And literally, you fail in the amount of deals you can get. You know, if you've got a home that you want to spotlight, and it's at 123 Granite Bay in Peoria, don't title the video 123 Granite Bay in Peoria um, uh, home video tour because there's nobody on YouTube searching for that keyword, right? If you're in Peoria, it's it's better to say uh, new home tours in Peoria space pipe space Peoria real estate deals space pipe space the real estate market in Peoria. That title is searchable. The other one's not. That doesn't make sense. All right. So here I just basically asked Bard for what are the most search terms? Because at the end of the day, you want to create videos around what people are searching for. So here's what it came up with. And some of these I never would have thought to, or I, I hadn't really thought about doing a video on it, but you better dang well believe I am now. Top things to do in Claremont. You notice how that doesn't have anything to do with, hey, do you want to buy a home? Do you want to sell a home? Do you want to come over here? Would you like to do this? It's top things. So somebody is looking for top things to do in Claremont because they're thinking about moving and they want to know, is Claremont where I want to bring my family? So there's a video. Best restaurants in Claremont. That's a big search term. Claremont's history. I don't know of any real estate agent. I have not seen one yet. And if you've seen it, Drop a comment below on this on the comments on the video so that I can go look at their channel. And if you've done it, props to you. But I haven't seen any real estate agent with a real estate geofarm channel talking about the history of their city in detail, right? How about Claremont Outdoors? What's available to do outdoors? Claremont events. What happens in Claremont? What are you next to? Is there fairs? Is there events? Is there, is there seasonal things, right? Uh, Claremont real estate, Claremont tourism, a Claremont moving, moving to Claremont. What's it like to live in Claremont? Claremont schools. Oh, Claremont schools. So there are some common themes right there of videos you can literally make. Just go to Bard, put in your city. Hey, what are some really good video topics I can do about my city at Granite Bay? Please give me the most search terms with regards to this city and watch what it does. All right. And then it says these terms show that people are interested in learning more about the city's attractions, restaurants, history, outdoor. If you're planning to create a, a, a video on Claremont, these terms can help you come up with ideas. Use high quality food. It's just giving you some really good ideas. So then I took this concept over to chat GPT. And I said, chat. Now, guys, this is where you take it to the next level. I said, hey, chat, as a professional copywriter, I would like a rough draft outline of a video I'm making called Top Things to Do in Claremont. Remember, I went to Bard and got an idea about that. Based on what people are looking for, what should the outline of this video look like? Here's what, here's what it gave me. Top things to do in Claremont, Florida video outline. 
Introduction. It's telling me. Introduction. Captivating open shot of Claremont's picturesque landscape, right? Engaging background music. Brief personal introduction and enthusiasm. Hey guys, Kelly here, the real estate ninja. And just like the video before me showed, Claremont is the home of lakes. Yes, we've got some of them. Y'all see that? And it's literally walking you through kind of a scenario of what to do when creating your video. Now, let me do this before I go to the next one. These are just suggestions. If your channel is in the beginning stages, what I just gave you was a masterclass of what to put out there because as an evergreen video, these are videos that will live forever. They will be watched and viewed for years and probably you don't need to change the content uh, you know, in those videos because you're talking about the things your city is offering at that point and they'll probably be the same things for years to come. What you will do every year is maybe update the video. The top things in Claremont, for 2023. Like your first evergreen video just needs to be, this is our city, this is what we offer, blah, blah, blah. And then maybe every year, update it. Hey guys, this is an update to a previous video on the top things in Claremont. So this one's going to be the top things in Claremont that are new for 2022, 2023, 2024. 20, you get me? So what a great way to start really planning and executing the content that you want to put on that channel that brings massive education value. So the other thing that you're going to want to do is go and look at what other agents are doing. So let me let me go ahead and share my screen again. I like to go out and look what, and I'm going to call it competition, but not really because I live in Central Florida and these guys are in different states. But I want to go and see what people are creating and not just creating, but creating and getting a lot of views. So I went ahead and typed in moving to Houston. And this lady's channel popped up, right? Living in Houston. So I went and looked at it. And one of the things I noticed, guys, is she only has 100 videos. She's got 21,000 subscribers. 21,000. She's calling herself the number one relocation team. So Houston is an area where people are relocating from, let's say, places like California, New York. Maybe they're coming from states that have a lot of high taxes and they're ready to, to make a switch and a change. Um and Houston is it, like Austin, Texas, Houston, Dallas. These are relocation areas and very, very uh, uh, smart. Now, th actually, this was not her channel. I apologize. This was not her channel. This was another agent's channel. Um, here's her channel. 9,000 subscribers, 24. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you. So here's her channel. She was one of the first ones. If I said moving to Houston, she's like the second video down. This is her channel. But what I wanted to show you guys is, She's got almost 10,000 subscribers and only 24 videos. I know people with hundreds of videos with 1,000 subscribers. Now, I'll get into the two reasons why I think that that, um, that happened for her. But please understand that if your content is extremely good, educational, people are going to watch it, right? So let's go back to this one real quick. This one has 21,000 subscribers and 100 videos, right? And if we go to his videos, and if we go to, let's go to, um, hold on a second. Let's go to oldest. So his oldest video is only two years ago. Guys, in two years, he went to 20,000 subscribers and 100 videos. And look, his views, let's go back to latest. When he drops a video three days ago, he's got 6,000 views. That's amazing. Now let's go look at her channel. Let's go back to her videos and let's look at her oldest. Her oldest video is from two years ago, right? So her channel has been around for two years and she's only got 24 videos. Now, I hadn't thought about doing this. And, and if she's watching this, I just want to say this. Um, if your channel is two years old and you've already got 9,000 subscribers with only 24 videos, imagine what her channel would look like today if after two years, she had 100, 200, 300 videos, she would probably triple those numbers. And when she puts a brand new video out, video out within four weeks, she'll have thousands, tens of thousands of views. And guys, that's when Google starts to reward you. They start to drive your content to the top because Google, who owns YouTube, knows if people are really watching videos and we want the experience of the end user to be one of excellence, videos that start to get those kind of views always go to the top. And... If you jump outside of Google and go to um, uh, do a Google search, they start to reward you. Now, this is totally off the cuff. I don't know if this is going to work, but let's go over here and let's type in living in 
Houston, Texas. Let's see what it looks like. There she is right there. Holy, I hadn't planned on that. Look at that, guys. Number one video search if you type in living in Texas. So let's go ahead and just talk one more time because I want to give you guys hope. Her channel only has 24 videos. That's like she's only putting out one video a month, 12 videos a year. You should be doing two videos a week minimum. Two videos a week times four weeks is eight times 12. You get the, you get the idea here. Um, but props to her for having that many. And I can tell you that she, her video content is evergreen now, which means she is literally closing deals every month because of this channel. Let's go back to this guy. His oldest video was two years ago, but there you go. However, he's got 100 videos. So he's putting content out. Like if you'll look at his um, videos, three days ago, 10 days ago, two weeks, three weeks, one month, one month, one month, one month, one month. So he's putting out between three and five videos a month. Perfect. Um, if you can do two a week, that is like the ultimate, but at least one a week. But look at his content. Houston's fastest selling master plan community. Why everyone is leaving Houston, Texas, 15,000 views, right? So let's let's just go to this one real quick. Oh, there you go. And, and it is Jackson Wilkie, who is like the freaking Yoda of YouTube. He, This guy's amazing. Jackson, love this channel. But check him out, guys. Um, if I look at his SEO score, it's only 20, which is really bad with, with TubeBuddy. But listen, <laughs> screw me. He's got 21,000 subscribers and 15,000 views. Look, I feel one of my greatest challenges that we uh, uh, first timers face. So he's, look, he's replying to these. Look at all these comments. This dude is closing multiple, multiple deals every single month from this channel, all right? So then, then what I did is I started looking at, okay, what are some search terms that we can do? I said, what's it like to live in Houston, Texas? And that's where Jackson's channel popped up to the top, right there. And I believe her channel is right there. So again, guys, two opposite spectrums, one of them with double the amount of subscribers, but is putting video content out monthly. The other one that's putting very little video content out, but she's got good content and she's closing deals. Half the subscribers, half the videos, uh, a fourth of the videos, and they're still ranking at the top. That's amazing. Imagine what would happen for her if she put out the kind of content he did. She would probably bump him off. That's just my opinion based on what I'm seeing, or at least be right there with him at the top of the search terms. So let's move on. Uh, okay, so here's another thing. So let's let's do this. Let me uh, let me come back and stop sharing. You know, one of the things that that people um, and I'm a good example of this. People talk about they're like, oh, I, I like what you're saying, Kelly, but you know, my, youth, my the area I live is very rural. And there's not that many people. Well, you know, if you live in Mayberry, uh, uh, Mayberry, just like uh, uh, um, Andy and Barney Fife, well, I get it. It's not like you can build a YouTube channel for a city of 200 people. So what you do then is you expand. You go out from there and go regional. So I'll give you, for instance, I live in the largest city in Lake County, Florida. Lake County, Florida is right next to Orange County, Florida, which is, you know, Disney World, Orlando, Florida, Lake County, um, it's a very large county. There's probably 450,000 people in the county, but Claremont is the largest city. But look, Claremont only has 45,000 people, right? So these guys are living in Houston. Look at this, 2.288 million. So if I had a situation where 2, 2 million people were in my city or in, in, in the area that I lived, my video views would, would be through the roof right now. But I built that channel specifically for Claremont, Florida. Now, if I want to increase it, I'm going to at some point change the channel's dynamics to still concentrate on Claremont, but I'm going to change it to be more regional, living in Central Florida, right? These are the concepts that you need to think about when planning what your farm is. If you have a very small farm, expand it out to maybe like if you're in Ohio, instead of Hoopy Doopyville, maybe call it Central Ohio, live, moving to Central Ohio, moving to Southern Ohio, moving to Northern Ohio. Um, that's what you need to think about, right? And so what I'm doing is I'm looking at 44,000 people and I want my channel to really hone in on Claremont, Florida. But I also am looking at 
the population of Central Florida, 8.3 million. So if I take my channel uh, and expand it to living in Claremont, Space Pipe, Central Florida Real Estate Solutions or Central Florida Real Estate, um, um, the Central Florida Real Estate Market, right? Something like that. Now I'm going to appeal to a, a broader swath of people. My video content now will start to pick up steam. Hope that makes sense. Um, oh, you know what? I didn't even show this to you. Here I am talking. I didn't, this is what I hate about this. <laughs> That's a fair, I'm sorry, guys. Back to this. Claremont's 44,000. Houston's 2.28 million. So they definitely have a larger reach. Their video should be getting tons of views. Now, if I go over here to Central Florida, which Claremont is right in the middle, there's 8 million uh, density population growth. So what I'm saying is that's that's at some point where the channel is going to expand to. Um, you know, you have people like uh, Karen Carr up in Atlanta, millions of people. You've got um, Levi Lasix, uh, uh, Dallas channel, uh, living in Dallas. That, that place has population in the millions. Uh, so you need to scale, uh, but still you've got to be your local expert uh, when it comes to your YouTube channel. So guys, that's all I'm going to share on this video. I just wanted to bring you kind of a genesis of why you need that YouTube channel and your content, uh, you know, where some strategies on getting content. A couple things, and I'll leave this homework with you. You need to start looking at other real estate agents' content. The next video I put together, I'm going to show you how to ethically take somebody else's content and repurpose it. Um, and if you are a YouTube creator, don't come and shit, give me hate on this channel because at the end of the day, if I'm in Claremont and you are in Seattle, I'm not going to start creating Seattle videos. But if you've got a video that has content that I like, I'm going to repurpose it for my area because you obviously are getting a lot of views and that's kudos to you. So if you guys want to see how to repurpose other real estate agents, geo farm content, make sure you hit subscribe and the bell, stay on this journey with me and also make sure that you are looking after this YouTube playlist I'm creating on the channel just for you guys. All right, that's it, man. I appreciate you ninjas. Uh, drop me some comments. What did you think about this video? Um, what do you think about my channel in general? And what are some things you guys would like to, uh, to, to see some marketing strategies you guys would like to see? And we will work on trying to get that out for you guys. That's it, guys. Have a great one. And until I see you on the next video, go get you some closings, man.